Hey folks, welcome back to Puzzle Agent. Um, ugh. I just, uh, oh, is that, is that more, oh, ew. Uh, so apparently, um, Agent Nelson Tethers from the FBI's Puzzle Division, uh, he needs gum to, uh, concentrate. And he doesn't much care if that gum is new or gently used. Or not so gently used. Um, that was on the carpet, Nelson, and he's gonna put that in his mouth. That's okay. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. Uh huh. All the tourists love them, but I think one has gone missing. Oh I swear, no. I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. Oh dear. I still have the film negative though. Okay. A ceramic? gnome has disappeared from the hotel display but which gnome? Identify the gnome in the negative that doesn't appear in the display okay okay uh, I think it might be that one I'm almost certain it's that one oh, wait a minute is the negative backwards? oh hell um okay so I'm just way out that way. Okay. That one's there. That one's there. That one's there. That one is there. Okay. That one is not there. Let's spend another $75,000 of your tax money. Yep, that was him. All right. Gnagative of gnomes. <laughs> no gum. No, I'm not putting any of that nasty gum in my mouth. Ugh. Okay. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my. Oh my. That be something? <laughs> okay. Um. Can I go this way? Can I go go to my room? See, I'm in town. Uh, apparently, there's something about the uh, eraser factory, an incident. Winner undeclared in local contest. Okay. The Annabelle Grill Ladies Arm Wrestling Tournament is over, and the judge missed it. Read the four statements and help him determine the winner. Okay. Okay. Pat one fair and square. Outmatched by the grizzly grip. Okay, she did not win. Well, who the hell is who here? Okay, so the the grizzly. Well, who the hell? What? Okay, I've already seen that. Um. Okay. So, she pinned Pearl. Is that the, uh... Grizzly Grip? Okay. The Grizzly Grip? Okay, I think it's this one. I don't know who this is, but, um... I've got a one in four chance, right? So, uh, spend, uh, 75 grand here. Yay! I got the right one. Good, good. Lucky guess. How? That was a <laughs> tricky one. Yes, it was, Nelson. Um, screwdriver. I'll take that. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Uh huh. Probably of no consequence. Well, can I take it? I I might could use it. Is there anything in the dumpster? How about the trash can? How about the meter? Can I go this way? Someone left a screw. All right, thank you, Looks Nelson. Clean. Thank you. Okay, let's go back in. It's cold out here. Um. Okay. Oh, uh, this guy again. Puzzles you need help with? Puzzles. 
puzzles. No yeah, this puzzles this here. poor guy. Brain's always thinking, thinking about puzzles. Yeah. I'll just check in on you later. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Um, okay, so uh, let's head out into the street here, into the cold, cold street. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Except for this from one. one wild goose chase, yeah. Been um, Bjorn here. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for In all the hot dish. In Bjorn's can defense, it to be seen if um, that's a good thing. Nelson was kind of a jerk I got a to map him. From the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. <laughs> Am I supposed to be saying that? No, no, you're not. Get on the snowmobile. Get on the snowmobile, Shinji. Vroom, vroom. The factory. The Scoggins Eraser Factory. No trespassing. It's okay, I'm FBI. Hello? Oh god, it's George. Never Hi, mind. Sheriff oh. Bob? Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. Well, he's a lot friendlier we than do. George. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. Oh, boy. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Uh, well, not I left pickle, probably ask not a center pickle. About the incident. Yes, yes, That's we probably I'd should. If I was a big important FBI boy. Okay. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. Related incident. What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, a big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. Um. Okay. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. It was an explosion. Somebody must have heard something. Oh, God. Here we go. The Rest Easy Guard Service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. Again, there are statements. Can you determine the time of the big noise? One hour before the last shift started. So that would be 11. Maybe. Whatever. Full 8 hours. Okay, so um, 12 to 8. Right. And then 8, 2. And you, 3, 4, 5, 8, 7, 8, 4. And then 4 to 12. But only. Wow, oh, hell. Works from six till I was relieved, which would be midnight, I guess. One hour from the level. Okay, so uh, we can guess that Bernie's is not the last shift. Only Bernie put in full eight hours, though. All right, you know what? Uh, screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some of this disgusting gum in my mouth here. Yeah, I've got eleven pieces of ABC gum here. Iggy started at 6, but did he start at 6 a.m. or 6 p.? Oh, right, right. Okay. So I'm guessing... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3. Only one of these is possible, okay. Pop worked the last shift, ending at midnight. Okay. Okay. So let's count backwards. Three hours. One, two, three. At nine. Right? Right. So Bernie. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, five, six, seven. Gotcha. All right, so one, two. So at eight. It would have been eight. It would have had to been eight. If Pop had the last shift, and one hour before his shift started, one, two, three, it has to be eight. So, um. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you. Yay. Alright, I've got to. I gotta see the explanation here. 
Bernie worked eight hours, Pop worked three, Al worked six, and Iggy worked seven. Iggy had to start at 6 a.m. because he was relieved by another guard. Al came first. And so that's, that's what I was screwing up on for some dumb reason. I was thinking three shifts. That That's the problem. I, I was... Why the hell was I hung up on three shifts? Okay. There's four people there, Sarah, for crying out loud. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Yeah. Good point. Maybe they grew back. Maybe they did. They do that. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. <laughs> well, we're still trying to figure that out. He got One blowed up. Work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there... So he uh, wasn't blowed up. Is there a body? Nope. Nope. He's just gone. He's just gone. Isaac Dabner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. Gotcha. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. Uh-huh. Okay. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well... That's because it's missing a piece. Uh -huh. I can see that just by looking at it. Thank you, Nelson. Oh, it is. I guess <laughs> that's why you make the big bucks, right? Well... That's right, sir. Goodbye. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. <laughs> Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? Ooh, I have some Ear. files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Yeah. Oh. Okay, but I really think in tethers, it's a pleasure working with um, you. You're doing a great job. Um we get the moose here in a bit. Okay. Alrighty then. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Out at the eraser factory. The doors to the factory are very long. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of custom built and chained has got this and place piped up tighter than four and knots. boarded. The device seems damaged, though. It seems to be missing a piece. Yeah, no, can't play with that. Uh, just, just with the device, which I can't really do anything about. Oh, 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 there's gum. There's gum. Oh, there's gum. Oh, sidewalk gum. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Okay. Let's go to the moose ear. There's the moose ear. Um. Wow, that looks inviting. Hi. Are you open? Hi. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a, a wad right there. Ew. Ew. <laughs> um. Hey, bud. How you doing? Excuse me. I see you're working on your sign. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. Okay. Cheerful. What's wrong with the something sign? Wrong with your sign? Uh, I said, is there something <laughs> wrong with you? A cop? I ain't got time for. Cops. Oh no, 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 no! I'm uh. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. Uh, Here, let me help you, please. Dark. You know what I mean? Um. I don't actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Oh. Not with all the whispers in my head. Um. What? Whispers? Get the fuse for me. Yeah, Get our uh, our our friend over in the um the hotel the hotel has uh, been muttering about whispers as well. So um let's uh, find the fuse here. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. That one looks simple enough. Do I drag it? No, I just, uh... That is the that, as that is that. So, that should be it. What? 
That fuse won't complete the circuit. Okay. Okay, well... Um... Okay, well obviously I have, uh... Missed something here. Alright, give me a hint. Yeah. The sequence of symbols on the fuse box seems somewhat familiar. Maybe it's not as random as it seems. Obviously, friggin' not. Um... So, $150,000 of taxpayer money later. Oh, still wrong. Okay. Um... I'm going with this one. <laughs> no! Why? Alright, well, there's only one left, so... It's gotta be that one. I've gotta see the explanation on this one, because I swear... Thank you! <laughs> oh my god. Find the fuse. Oh. Ew. Ew. Sorry. Um. Each figure in the sequence is. No! Oh no. Yeah, okay, now I see it. Yeah. Shh. See, I'm looking at the, the thing and the, the crossbar there and the. Oh my god. Wow, okay. All right, props to y'all. Props to the designer. That was uh, that was a good one. Overthunk the shit out of that one, didn't that I? Should do it. Hey, what do you know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. Uh, what? Well, I gotta finish getting this sign out. See you later. Okay. We'll see. Um. I don't suppose you know anything about the eraser factory accident. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Worth a try. How about, uh, you know Isaac? Isaac? Not much. Heard he had some kind of accident. Yeah. Was bad for his wife, Glory. Glory. Such a pretty girl. I should okay. really talk to her. Do you know where I can find her? Yes, I do. Do you now? Where? So, where can I find her? Inside. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. 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 Any more gum chilling around here? Some stuck on the light pole, maybe? Loot Fisk. Yum, yum. Ah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how you doing? Oh, this is awkward. Uh, Sheriff? Hi, Sheriff. Hi. How you doing? Okay. First of all, what is that? There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Uh, excuse me. She's right there. She can hear you. Is there some gum under the counter? Excuse me, ma'am. Um, Miss... Waitress lady? Uh, Welcome to the Moosier Diner. I'll be right with you. She looks Can I help terribly you busy. That? Oh, God. Fit all the food items on the plate in such a way that none of them overlap. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It's like, oh my God, it's like Tetris with food. Um, okay. You can't turn them, can you? Okay, that just snuggles right in there. Asparagus is gonna have to go somewhere else. Um, asparagus, I think, are gonna have to go somewhere else. That chicken wing. This is a hell of a plate here. Um, now I have a problem. Uh... The pork chop and the fish have to go somewhere. How about we put the asparagus there? The pork chop is not going to fit on the plate if I do that. 
And the fish just about has to go right in the middle. Wait a minute. The fish can go right there. Um, the mushroom can go up here. The chick on wing. Oh, hell. Uh, chicken wing there. Um, okay, these two are now joined at the hip. These are now joined at the hip. So, um, all right, we're, we're getting somewhere. Up, up, up. Uh, the asparagus just snapped on. The carrot just snapped on. Okay, so um, things will snap into place when they are where they need to go. Aha! Okay. Put that pork chop right there, I bet. The mush a chicken wing there, mushroom there, and the uh, bacon right there. And now everything is all snapped together nice and tidy. And I have hopefully redeemed myself for the horrible failure. Yay! Rearranging rations. No hints. No wrong answers. Go me. Okay. There you go. Delicious. Thanks. So, uh, what's good here? I don't know. Excuse it's me. It's all fine. Oh, hmm. okay. What's your name? Lori Davner. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Haha. So, <laughs> Awkward. I'm Nelson. Are you feeling okay? Yes. No. no. I'm just thinking about my husband. Yeah. What's wrong with your husband, ma'am? Uh, he kind of okay? got blown up? He will be. Think maybe? Well, I'm with the FBI's Department of Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. Okay. So, let's ask about the factory. An accident at the eraser factory caused it to shut down. Uh-huh. Do you know anything about that? Of course I do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. Um... I mean, just that it was an accident, like everyone says. Okay. The factory foreman... What about your Isaac hubby? Davner. He was your husband? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. Uh -huh. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For... For... Just so proud. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. She's a little uh, shell-shocked there, I think. Seems a bit odd. Yeah. Anything I should know about Basically, him? everybody in this well, town so I think far. he's got a bit of a crush on me, but... Oh, God. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? <laughs> oh, no. He wouldn't hurt a fly. No, he just hears voices he in his head. Stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. Well, I wish people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. Oh. And looks like Has we have a puzzle here. Affected business? Yeah. People tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Uh oh. Normally, that'd be a good thing. But, but they don't pay, I've been do they? Distracted. I see that. No. Oh. Maybe I can help. Okay. When these three couples walked into the diner, Glory thought she knew what each would order. She was wrong, and now she's forgotten who gets what. Here's what she does recall. This is why you write it down, honey. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. Okay. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. Only one patron resembles his or her meal. The ham plate should be set down next to the banana split. Okay. Oh, dear God. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Ah, uh, this is the weirdest looking bunch of people I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, while nobody... Okay. Give me the rules again. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man. Okay, so the man got the fish. 
A man got the fish. Only one patron resembles his or her meal. I bet it's the banana split. And one of the men got the fish. Nobody got a meal that looked like their spouse. So this guy would have had to get the fish if that guy got the banana split. So, um... That guy looks like an onion. So she didn't get the onion rings. She looks like a chicken. One lady got a dish that resembled the fish-eating man sitting next to her. Okay. So he has to be the fish-eating man, obviously. He can't have the banana split. Uh, so she couldn't have the onion rings. She couldn't have the buffalo burger. Only one person got a meal resembling him or herself. The ham and the banana split should be next to each other. The ham and the banana split can still be next to each other. Okay. Let's try it. Holy crap! I can't believe... I cannot believe I got that right on the first try. Holy shit, son. How? Real 2 says one more woman ordered a meal resembling the man sitting next to her. The chicken woman is the only woman sitting next to a man besides her spouse, so it must be her. And the onion man ordered fish. Okay. That's that's it. Alright. That wasn't so tough. You yeah, shut the hell I up, Nelson. Not. Could I have a bit more of your time, ma'am? Sure. Sure. Goodbye. Okay. Um, I am going to call it a night here at this point, folks. And next time, we'll go poking around the diner here a little bit more. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.